Hey everyone, I want to do a update video on my Speedy 30 Bandelier in the Damier Bean Print. I've had this for almost four years now. Um, I purchased it in 2013. So I think in March it'll be my fourth year of having it. I wanted to give you guys an update on how it's held up, how the exterior is, how the canvas is held up, the hardware, the interior and the straps and just an overall look on how it looks after pretty much being used I guess 85% of the time because I do use this bag quite often and I do not baby it at all so um, yes let's get on to the details of the bag and then I'll show you the close-ups and everything like that so I bought this bag in 2013 I purchased it at $1,410 at the time and I believe now on the Australian Louis Vuitton website the price is at I think $1,770 AUD. Yeah, so it has gone up over the years which I'm not surprised about. So let's go into the dimensions. Lengthwise is 12 inches. The height is 8.5 inches and the depth of the bag is around 6.5 inches. It comes with the straps which is like three pieces where you can attach and adjust um, all the straps on. And it features two top handles as you guys know and my bag was made in France. Okay, so let's get on to the pros and cons that I've had over the last three and a half years. So, I'll start off with the cons because there's honestly not many cons at all, there's like two. I feel like the opening of the bag, it kind of gets a bit annoying because you lose around like half an inch on each side. So, it, it I mean it does open wide but for longer things you got to kind of put them in sideways and stuff like that but that's one of the cons that I don't really like if you like the bag to be structured I suggest for you to get um, a bag organizer because if you don't the bag will definitely lose its shape like if you put something heavy it will sag at the bottom but I don't really mind whether it sags or not they are the two cons that I guess that I can pick out from my use of the bag but let's get on to the pros first off this bag and this particular canvas is absolutely care free like you honestly you can wear this out in the rain the snow anywhere it honestly will hold up like I've had no problems whatsoever with it that's why I kind of gravitate towards it the most and I also just um, it's my go-to it's carefree and I love how you can wear it on your um, the crook of your arm you can wear it as a shoulder bag you can wear it as a crossbody so there's options um, with this bag as well so you can have it carefree and hands-free so that's um the first pro the second pro is that it can fit a lot I think even with the speedy 25 the smaller one to this it still can fit a lot as well so being the middle size it is the perfect everyday size you can fit definitely all your essentials and more I feel like it's a very classic look you can definitely go with everything so it doesn't really matter what outfit you're wearing majority of the time it's classic and it'll go with any outfit and it also is definitely great for travel. I used this bag when I went to Europe and just my recent trip to America I used it as well. So it's absolutely perfect for travel. Okay, so let's get on to the close-ups. So first off, you can tell that it is pretty slouchy. It has kind of caved in in certain areas like there. I think the most worn part of the bag is the hardware on it. You can probably see here. The brass gold has definitely rubbed off and the locks really, I know you can clean the lock but this is the same lock ever since I've had it. Um, here's the other side, you can probably see more 
of this one how it's kind of just rubbed off because of the strap there we go but there's hardly any rubbing on the edges the piping looks pretty good I'm actually quite surprised there is some rubbing over here you might be able to see just along this section there um, and here's the other side oops sorry guys there is slight rubbing on the corners but the good thing is with the Damier bean print is that it is brown so it doesn't really show too too much and there's a lot of rubbing on this corner there you can see that rubbing right there the handles have I think worn pretty well is the glazing I think it's actually pretty good thinking about especially with the amount of use you can see some kind of uh, texture there but apart from that I think it's done really well for the f almost four years that I've had it the outer canvas I feel is pretty pretty good there's the bottom the only one that I can see is this scratch right here I'm not sure I must have hit it like against a white wall or something I've tried to take it off but it doesn't seem to be coming out but that's nothing too too major and here it's got some slight scratches on the leather which is inevitable to be honest But overall, I think the bag has held up amazingly, and the interior, it is quite dirty. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but yeah. the bag uh, here's the straps there's slight wear on the hardware There is quite a lot of creasing as well on the leather. I know some people don't like the look of that, but honestly, you can't stop the leather from not creasing because unless you don't use the bag <laughs> at all. But you can tell that I've worn this quite a lot. Here is the other side. Here's another overview. Here's a side. And this one is made in France.
so I feel like I did get my money's worth with this bag because I have used and abused it um, countless times. I'm even, I'm still using it till this day. I have no problems with it at all. The zipper hasn't broken. I haven't had any repairs done to it um, as of yet. So if you're definitely thinking about the LV Speedy 30B, definitely go for it because it is such an amazing everyday piece. Um, I have no doubts with this purchase. I absolutely, definitely recommend it and yeah. This bag has done so well over the last three-ish years and I hope it'll do well over the next three to five years as well. So thanks again for watching guys. This is my three-year update on my Speedy and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any more requests, please leave them down below and thank you so much for all your support and your wonderful